Hey everybody, Peaks here. Welcome to Peaks Journey from uh, New Zealand, Aotearoa, land of the long white cow. Yep, kia ora. Um, yeah, so I'm seven days out from weight loss surgery. I'm going to have the uh, uh, gastric sleeve done here in New Zealand, Hamilton Waikato Hospital. Yep, quite excited about that. No nerves at the moment, maybe the day before or the morning of the ap actual operation, but uh, you know, feel really ready for this and I've been working towards it for a while now. And yeah, bring it on, yeah. So I'll, I'll do a bit of an update. I've been on my journey so far for the eight months. Um, my heaviest weight at, at the start of this journey was 265.6 kilos which is 585.5 pounds so mm, I was heading towards the 600 pound mark um, so my weigh in today uh, I'm now at 183.6 kilos which is 404.7 pounds um, yeah so last week I was 187 kilos 412.2 pounds so in the last week I've lost uh, 7.5 pounds or 3.4 kilos yeah and um, so my total loss in the last eight months is uh, 78 point no sorry 82 kilos or 180.7 pounds in the last eight months leading up to surgery with a week to go and uh, I hope to lose another another three and a half kilos uh, in the next week so off we go um, yeah <clears throat> so yeah I've been spending a lot of time reflecting on surgery and and you know what my motivations towards getting it and I just wanted to talk a little bit about my self-awareness like I know in a lot of my videos, I have been focused on on the videos. I've been focused on the numbers quite a bit, but um, you know, in the background, there's there's a lot to my story. You know, it's it's quite a you know, I've been around <laughs> basically. So looking at you know my levels of self awareness, you know, so it really does. A lot of it, some of it's genetics and uh, some of it goes back to the way I was brought up. So when I was, I was brought up quite, I, I went through a lot of violence in my upbringing, a lot of uh, physical violence and emotional sort of violence as well. And as a coping mechanism, well, I'll go here first. As as a child, you know, every time I cried, I was I was given food to sort of shut me up and make me happy. So I learnt very very early on to um, use food as comfort, right back to the beginning. So yeah. So as a as a result of <clears throat> the violence and that side of my upbringing, I. I was quite smashed down and it made me a really submissive person, a really a doormat was sought uh, to suck it up and uh, or else basically and um, any family that are watching this, uh, uh, no um, disrespect, I love you all and this is just something I need to talk about. This is my truth, my my life, my this is my understanding of where I'm at now, and you know, yeah, onwards. So it just it is what it was, you know, and it is what it is now. But um, yeah. So I learned pretty early on to comfort eat, and I was an emotional eater. <clears throat> I had quite a voice. I've had quite a void through my life within because I really had to suck it up and everything, internalised everything, I really imploded 
you know, really empty on the inside and, you know, especially in more recent years, so I have my life, you know, comfort eating, that would help ease that sort of nothingness, but it only it worked whilst I was eating, as soon as I stopped eating, boom, it was there. No, it wasn't always there, it was just particularly at low points in my life, and, you know, one thing I'm looking at my life and what I've learnt about myself and what I've experienced is that I am like a creature of addiction. I have a hugely addictive personality. Um, yeah, I've been through a hell of a lot. I've been through drug addiction and um, I'm a very all or nothing person. I went to the extreme and I'm, I'm really lucky to be here. Yeah, on more than one account, so, um, you know, yeah, I got through that. I've done a hell of a lot of counselling over the years as to why and, you know, understanding myself and self, self awareness. You know. um, going to the beginning of this journey at, you know, 585 pounds, and <clears throat> I was at a I came to an all-time low. My life was pretty much flashing in front of my eyes. I, you know, as a child, on the genetic side, um, my one of my grandfathers, he was a very obese man. I'm I'm like six foot, under, just under six foot six. He was probably five foot something, but very big. And I remember being little and very naive, just like a lot of people out there that. I've come across that have never had problems with uh, of being overweight or obesity. And I thought, you know, looking at my grandfather, why is he so fat? Why didn't he just lose weight? If I was that big, I'd just lose weight. You know, well, I'd take it easy on myself. I was just a little kid, so, you know, but I came to learn over the years the reality of, like, what my grandfather's life was. And at the beginning of this journey, when my life was really flashing before my eyes and everything was going downhill in all aspects of my life and I just thought, is this it? Is this just like my grandfather's life, looking at, remembering his life and seeing it once it got to a point and it just went down and down and down and down and down and he died in, I think it was his 50s, you know, and I just saw that is it, that's what's going to happen to me, it's over, is this it? And I, I just, you know, I was looking for something to help me. And um, I started watching videos and docos on YouTube about obesity. And then I came across videos, um, docos of people that had been through surgery. And then it got, it started me thinking, you know, maybe Maybe I could do, go down that path and, um, yeah, but I continued going downhill, but um, I eventually um, went on the public waiting list over here and, yeah, I've, I, I feel so blessed and so lucky that I've been accepted, I'm having surgery here and, you know, when I saw the surgeon, he told me to lose 35 kilos, which is, uh, I don't know how many, 78 pounds, and then he'd put me on the waiting list. And I was, you know, I was in such a dark place, and that was the tiniest speck of light at the end of the tunnel. And I just thought, this is it, this is my chance, this might be my only chance out of where I've got, where I had gotten myself, where I'd ended up. And, you know, I just grabbed it and I started running towards it. and. Hence, such reason why I've had such a big loss before surgery. But, um, yep, so I saw him three months later and I'd already lost, I don't, I don't know, but I was way past what he asked me to lose and he was really happy with that and resulting that I've actually had my surgery date quite soon, so I feel eight months from start to surgery is quite a quick time and yeah, 
Oh man, I feel so lucky. I wasn't in a position to um, pay for surgery or or to get any help from family for you know to fund it. So going through the public system here in New Zealand means that the surgery was free. Um, yeah, again, so lucky, but uh, I don't feel so bad about all the taxes I've paid over the years now because it feels like it's come back around. So. Um, yeah, so a week away, surgery's soon, and it's, uh, you know, going to help. I've, I've always struggled in my life being on the big side, on the larger side. I've been up and down over the years, for, but, but definitely the majority of my life have struggled with being overweight, and I know that. It will be the struggle, a struggle, the rest of my life. So the surgery, I'm just like, so looking forward to having that as a backup to help me get through. I know it's ultimately all up to me at the end of the day, but I'm not going to turn down something that's going to help me really get to where I want to go, you know. So I'm here. I want my, you know, I want the best out of my life. I want to, you know, going backwards again for a minute, um, being everything exploding and being empty on this inside, the positive thing that came out of that, I learned to find outlets of things that would help me release the emotions that were all just pent up and destroying me on the inside, you know, and um, <clears throat> resulting from about the age of five, I discovered music, I was part of a school play at school, well, maybe I was six or seven, but, um, and I just thought it was so amazing, and I knew from that point in my life I wanted to be a musician, and mm, through music, I found a voice, an outlet to let that pressure out and the beauty for me with it playing guitar was that it didn't require words I didn't have to you know I could express all those emotions through the palette of sounds and you know feelings that can be expressed with music and that's been my savior in my in my lifetime you know, with performing on stage, there's nothing more satisfying to me. I feel like usually I'm quite an introverted person, you know, but when it comes to music and playing on stage, I'm complete opposite, you know. I'm just, like I said, there's no place I feel more comfortable or more at home than on stage performing. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. <laughs> Laughing at myself, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for that, yeah. But, uh, yeah, you know, life is a gift and, you you know, I want to make the most of it. I, I'm, I know I've got a lot more to offer and, uh, you know, I really want to um, take, take the bull by the horns and make the most of my life, you know. I don't want to just let it pass away. There's been years in my life where this every day has been the same. It's been crap. It's just gone. I turn around. What did I do for the last bunch of years? Oh, Nothing really was wasted, but so, you know, now, the time is now, and, you know, I'm reclaiming back my life, and I want to do everything to reach my full potential, you know. So, yeah, this peak's journey, and I'm continuing on my way. I'm so looking forward to moving through, to uh, having surgery. I'll do a whole bunch of shorter videos, because, you know, for the short attention spans, <laughs> I tend to do quite long videos, but uh, yeah, uh, thanks everyone to, for watching my vids. Uh, shout out to Fat Kings, Phil and TJ. Uh, yeah, that was pretty cool watching your video and hearing you just drop my name in that. Yeah, I was going to set up my microphone tonight so I could be part of the club, but it was a bit of a uh, bit of a muck around, so maybe in one of my future vids. And uh, yeah, shout out to the Aussie connection there. Um, Harry, Harry Draco girl, and little Aussie Mel, and 
big vigil. I'm so looking forward to the October uh, catch up and uh, got to get it all sorted. And uh, it'd be great to come back to to Oz and visit all my fans over there and yeah. But um, yeah. So <sighs> till next time, I'm Peaks. Some people know my my actual name is Shayla or Shay, but um, yep, I'm Peaks. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Sweet. Okay. See you all till next time.